I'm going to share with you my three-step blueprint that will guarantee you are set up for success to get more clients coming through your door. Now, I run a Facebook ads marketing agency, and over the years, I have been surprised, actually, to see that, you know, people that talk about Facebook ads, they don't really go into detail about what actually makes your ads work. And so I'm going to be using the concepts of what I, what I use in my advertising, but this doesn't just, um, you know, it's not just for Facebook ad is for any type of kind of advertising or any type of campaign you're doing, whether it's organic, whether it's paid, you need these three steps as an utmost foundation to get you results into your business. So um, just if you're new to my channel, I'm all about faith based, focused business growth, wealth creation and all around abundant living. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I will be sharing you my tips in a second. If you are new, my name is Bookie and this channel is dedicated to topics on business growth, wealth creation and all round abundant living from a Christian perspective. With engaging topics set to enhance your journey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay guys, now I'm sure you've all seen this beautiful funnel here, make a bit bigger. So, you know, this is a funnel. And if you've in business long enough, you know that basically, or well, it should be a bit smaller down here, you know, this is the concept of what, you know, your business funnel, you put, you know, you, you, you got to, you've got a funnel, you, you send people to send traffic into your funnel. Okay. And then it trickles down and they opt in and some people leave along the line and you get a customer client here. Okay. That is a basic kind of, um, funnel. Sorry for my drawings, but you know what I mean. Now, before you can get this traffic coming in here, there has to be activity here. So I'm going to call this outflow. Okay. I just want to also give a shout out to John Whiting and John Schumacher actually, because I learned some of these things from them. And as I did it myself, I'm seeing these things actually really, really work. But anyway, back to business. So outflow equals your inflow. Okay. And so what you need to know here is whatever you're doing here, you have to do something, okay? You've got to do something. You've got to have activity going on here for it to now result in traffic coming into here, coming into your business and you getting a client, okay? So outflow equals to inflow. Now, if you're not getting enough clients coming through your door, the reason, there's only two reasons why that is. It's either number one, the quality of your outflow is rubbish, put in a better word, or the level of your outflow is low, low level, i.e. there's not enough activity or both. OK, so, for example, let's say um, a typical conversion rate says one percent. So if you've got a hundred messages or a hundred things happening here so you've got you know you're doing activity you should at least get one client on this side now our aim is obviously to get a higher conversion rate so if you've got a hundred things going on out here then you want to get like three four five you know clients you know making you some money over here or at least booking you booking a call with you or doing something you know that's going to give you a financial reward from all your investment here your investment here could be time or it could be money it's either or okay now my three blueprint three <laughs> three step blueprint focuses on the quality okay you've got to do the activity whatever whether it's automated whether it's organic this is up to you but we're going to deal with the quality of your outflow what is your quality and that's how we're going to determine and ensure and guarantee you're going to get some good clients at the end of, of that. I hope that makes sense. I mean, I'll give you an example. I had a client recently who were running ads for and um, she was getting so many customers coming in and I said, she said, oh, Bookie, just stop, just lower the ads or stop it. I said, Don't stop it yet because she wanted to still do some further campaigns, you know, in a few weeks time. So let's just lower the level. I reduce it to one dollar a day. OK, thinking that, OK, you know, th maybe you get one lead every three to five days or, you know, two a week, something like that. We were getting leads every single day on one dollar a day. And the only reason why that is, is because the quality of what we were putting out matched our target audience and therefore gave us 
a good high conversion rate. I hope that makes sense. Okay, because this is a really, really, really important concept. Okay, so the first step is your positioning okay your positioning online is so important okay you have to start thinking about this if you haven't thought about it already now if you have a bricks and mortar business let's say for example you may be selling pet food you know and you are based in west london or number 41 grange street okay your clients know where you are they know what you sell and they know what problem you solve it's easy it's simple as abc now when you're online you have to position yourself in the same way so people have to know where you are have to how they're going to find you what are you selling and what problem do you solve the same thing applies online now the difference here is that the online market you know you're not on grange street you're on Instagram or you're on Facebook or you're on wherever you are online. So you have to differentiate yourself. And it's really important that you do that and you speak to your target audience, your target market, more importantly, your customer avatar. I'm going to go into that in, in, in a second. But what I wanted to also explain to you is that it's also very important that you have a personal brand and you have a business brand. Now, what do I mean? Now, depending on your business, a personal brand may not be so necessary, but it's good to still have it. And that just means you are you are stating your place online. Who are you? What are you about? And who do you serve? Because now... People are looking online for who to do business with. They want to find out, well, who is the person behind the business? Especially if you're a small or medium-sized business, they want to find out the people or the person behind that business. And so, so whatever your personal profile looks like online, it also speaks for you. Now, it may not be as important, but it, depending on what business you are in, for example, I have a property business and I'm not the face of that business so much so it goes on i don't have to necessarily be in the forefront of it so much so when i'm when I'm getting clients but having said that i still need a some kind of profile online because they can still research who i am now with a my marketing business this is me you know my personal brand here i am on youtube you know i am explaining to you my values what i believe in what i like how i serve people what, what problems i can help you to solve um that's um me as a person but it's also my business as a marketer okay um so you as a business owner need to be clear on okay do I need a, what's my personal brand saying online and what is my business brand saying online? And there are exercises that you need to do to be able to differentiate the two and to be clear on those two online. Now, the reason for that is because it's all about your customer, right? So you have to understand who is your target market? Who is your customer avatar? They are very two different things and you have to differentiate the two. So your customer, so your target market is for your business, okay? So in your business, who, what is the, who is the, what demographic are you serving, okay? And to, to, to give you an understanding of the difference between the two, a demo, your target market, you're talking about a, a set of people with similar demographics, so be it age, be it gender, be it race, be it uh, marital status, be it interest, whatever, you know, things that pull them together. It's a pool of people, a market of people who you, your business will be targeting. So, for example, the pet, um, if, the you know, Tell you're selling pet food, you know, obviously you're targeting people who have pets and um, possibly uh, families, you know, who might have multiple pets um, or, or what have you. It might be a particular certain pet, it might be your dogs, it might be cats, whatever. OK, so you have a market for that kind of for, for, for the people Now your customer avatar is extremely important because your customer avatar is your ideal client who do you want to serve or who are you who are you on earth to serve you know i'm taking it quite deep here but yeah who are you on earth to serve who's your ideal client who have you been set up as a business as a person to serve who is that person you have to get laser focused and detailed on that person so now, this customer avatar is key. And I like drawing, so I'm going to show you some draw, give you a bit more of a detailed explanation. I don't like drawing. I, I'm not very good at it, but 
I like to demonstrate with visuals. Okay, so now let's use another example. Let's say, for example, you have an events management business. Okay, so you're an event planner. You plan events for, for people. Okay, now this is the market, let's say. And then you say here is your target market. Let's just say um, that, uh, you know, okay, you've got people who are engaged i see you do wedding planning yeah so you've got the whole of your neighborhood or the whole world if you don't oh, well, no, no, your neighborhood basically that's engaged okay but not everyone that's engaged is your target market okay so in your target market which is here so this is your target market okay so in your target market you have got people who are professionals okay they work in, say, white collar jobs and, and white collar jobs. So they're professional jobs. They haven't got much time on their hands. Okay, you got people here who got an income over a certain amount. Maybe they both they both have a very good income. Um, maybe say they they both um, are very like they like high quality they like high quality things. That's an interest of them. So they read certain magazines and they follow certain things on social media because of their interest. Um, let's say their age, they are in their early 30s, so they've had some time to build up some income, they've got quite a bit of cash, um, they're in their, they're in their, say, early 30s, um, and so they're well placed, they may, um, obviously, they, they may not have a lot of family around them, say, for example, so you've got all these different things that identify your target market, okay, and that bind these people together, to say, okay, not everyone that's engaged is my target market, but you know, they, they have to tick a few boxes and that will be people who I'm targeting. That's your market. And that's who your business is going to be targeted. And it actually, it's not only like events, it could be, you know, it could be birthdays, you know, it could be corporate events. Um, so it's not just, uh, depending on what you do, it could be corporate events, you know, corporate event planning. But let's just say, for example, you know, this this is the event planning world but you are targeting let's say weddings and you've got a certain you know uh demographic of people that you're actually looking to okay that's your target market fine now the tar your customer avatar we're gonna give a heart <laughs> and we're gonna give some legs and some arms <laughs> Just ignore the drawing, okay? It's funny to me. So basically, this is your this is your customer avatar. Your customer avatar becomes human. You give it and you give, let's say a her, it's a woman, it's a it's a bride. You give her a name. Her name is Shirley. Okay. Shirley has not got much family around her. She is in a high corporate job she earns a lot of money she's just got engaged she has not got the time to start planning weddings she but she's very high quality she bet she wants things in a certain way but so that's why she needs someone that's going to really help her to put everything in place okay so you're going to go deep into who shirley is you name shirley okay that is your customer avatar so you've got the target market and normally your offer this is how I do it. Your offer in your business will target your customer avatar and your business is related to your target market. So when you have offers, you're thinking about Shirley. You're thinking about what would Shirley want? What am I going to attract Shirley with? You're not thinking about, you know, Joe, the, 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 the husband. You're not thinking about, you know, Sue, who's got a one year old birthday to plan. You're not thinking about corporates. You're thinking about Shirley over here. You're thinking about one person that you are going to target. And the reason why that is so important when you do when you do the exercise the full exercise of this then all of that information is what you're going to use in your on your landing page okay on your website okay you're going to be using it for your call to action for your offer you know all that information is read once you've done the exercise that you need to do to get that information and spend some detailed time doing it You've got your marketing set, all the and the language, the language, the language is so. How does that? How does Shirley speak? What's Shirley's language? How does she pronounce her T's and how does she pronounce her eyes? You know I mean, you have to go deep into Shirley's mind. And the thing that would really set you apart here is if 
you understand Shirley's problem in such a way that you explain it better than she can. Imagine if you had a, say, an earache, or for example, now that earache, I heard it from someone else, by the way, it's a really great example, but I'm going to share it with you here. You've got an earache, and um, go to the doctor, and the doctor says to you, you know, oh, okay, what, tell me the problem, and, and the doctor says, and you tell the doctor the problem, I say, okay, I'm not quite sure what that is, I'm, I'll give you um you know some uh some some medita medication for it and see how it, how you do so okay thank you doctor go ahead about your way imagine you go to doctor number doctor b sorry and you know you go same with the same um earache and he says to you oh okay um does it hurt on the right side of your ear yes it does does it um do you have headaches along with that as well yes i do okay do you have like a funny noise that you're hearing and um, when you go to sleep yes i do so he i can understand exactly that he knows exactly what your problem is and he's diagnosed it to a t so when you can do that for your customer they already are warming to you if that was the guy with the earache he's gonna want to use that doctor 10 times over because he understands his pain he understands his problem he understands where he's coming from he speaks his language Language. and that's what you need to get to to position your business for success to get your clients attracted to you and getting them to buy into your offer I hope that makes sense so um, I have a um, an activity a three-part series that I'm gonna that if you go to the link below into the description box there'll be a link there if you are someone that wants to take a bit of action you can sign up to that um three-part series and I will send it to you um over three days but um, I'm releasing these videos you know as and when I do on Wednesdays and on Fridays anyway but um you know this is for you to just take in and at least have an understanding of why it's so important when you've done this exercise you can then position every every um every real estate you have online to match this customer avatar who essentially is going to be the person that's going to be making you a lot of money and now does it mean that nobody else can come and buy from you of course not people can buy from you from all over you know but you are focused and you are targeted so that they will come to you and others will also follow suit